Today from historic East Lake Golf Club in Atlanta, Georgia, this is EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour Golf. With Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner, and Frank, of course, we know East Lake as the home of the Tour Championship, but talk to me a little bit about the course itself. What kind of players typically do well here? I actually think someone that draws the ball rich has a, a sort of a better chance of playing well around there than someone that fades it. We've seen that really of the professionals that have played well there. Um, a lot of the trouble's on the right-hand side, so you want the ball moving away from that. And, of course, the two nines themselves are a little different. Um, you know, one nine a little flatter and the other one sort of uphill and down dale. But uh, any time you're going where Bobby Jones really played most of his golf, you, you're going to one of golf's oasis. like the looks of this one. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? <laughs> Not that bad, but it is a great approach. Here. Yes, nicely done. It's in for birdie, and it's into red figures now at one under par. Up next, the 177-yard par 3 sec tee shot to an elevated green, which is protected by that large oak tree on the right and two greenside bunkers on either side. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round, will win the day. A birdie try on the second green, and with that, we welcome four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Nota Begay. Speed, not break, will be the issue here as it picks up momentum going down the slope. Mm, good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a par. Well, a chance here at the third to make a birdie and sort of jumpstart your round. It's not long. It's only 381 yards downhill. There is a little bit of trouble to the left, but if you hit your tee ball right center, you'll have a good chance to attack that hole location. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Okay, on the green, but let's going to leave a putt that will get your attention. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, that's finished off for a par. Well, this par four fourth at 474 yards is a good chance to let that big dog eat, as they say. Full turn here, let it rip. Need a good tee shot. Good drive down the right side. Today, the hole is cut front leg, so far enough back. You gotta get the ball to stop. <laughs> A 
That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Not a problem. That's in for birdie. And that score moves to two under par. Well, when you get to this 444-yard par 4 fifth, you, you know you're in Georgia, right? You know, the old oak trees and the tall pines lining these fairways has a good feel to it. And then it has a two-tiered green, so you need to be on point here. Smoke that drive. A little unlucky, actually, to get into the first cut. Second shot now from just a foot or two off the fairway. This sort of uh, fireworks here today, but already with some birdies on the card and another one here by the looks of things. That's as stressful a birdie as you're going to get on this course. That is well done. So again, a scoring opportunity here at East Lakes, par 5 six. It's only 532 yards these days. That's just a little bit longer than a long par four. Obviously, you want to have a go at this in two and maybe a chance to make eagle. We'll have the distance right just a little bit offline to the left and a little bit left too. this third shot About a 60% make percentage from here. This for birdie. Oh, yes. Well done. It's birdie to move to four under now on the day. We come now to the 470 yard par 47. Picturesque hole with views of East Lake and the Atlanta skyline. Narrow fairway demanding an accurate tee shot. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. How about that approach, folks? Hits the pin, leaving a short birdie putt. Must be living right. Yeah, that's nicely done. Good playing there as she finishes off her birdie. Now to the eighth here at East Lake. It's 461 yards. The premium here is on accuracy. You want to keep it away from those two fairway bunkers on the right side of that fairway landing area. If you do, you'll have a good approach, good angle to access that hole location. There. Good tee shot in the short grab. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Well, it's 128 yards left to the flag to date, and the pin on the left portion of the green. A 
Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot in the for What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. Yeah, well, that one right in. That's a good pop. And it's in for a birdie. Well, now we close out this front side with a 218-yard par-3 ninth, and depending on the conditions, you might see guys with a fairway wood, long iron. Either way, you need to catch this one right in the middle of the club face. Did not make a good sound coming off the face, and that'll be trouble over there. Just to tap in there for par at the ninth. And the scorecard's looking pretty good after nine holes. That's a 29 six under par. So this 10th hole is all about positioning. It's a par four, 430 yards. You have good chance at birdie if you can drive it down the left side of the fairway. That one gonna split the middle, maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. Oh, this could be good. No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, you know, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Yes, very methodically done in that one. In for a birdie. 203 yard par 3 11. This one can jump up and bite you. If you miss hit your shot, you're just a little bit offline. And you can walk out of here with a bogey. Tell you what, I've enjoyed watching this display all day long. We hear the phrase in football, ball control. It applies to what we've seen here from this player. That is an outstanding display of ball control. Yeah, can't take those for granted. Good concentration there, and it's in for a birdie. We arrive here at the short par 412, just 381 yards. Fairway wood off the tee should put you in a great position for that second shot. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. I was asking for it to go, and it listened. That is a really good shot. Chance now for another birdie. Oh, she's gonna like that one. Well done. That's in for her birdie. Up next, the 431 yard par 4 13th straight away. Two fairway bunkers on the right. Really the only concerns here off the tee. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Just a, a beautiful performance, and this round looks like it's going to get even better. Just a beautiful iron shot. 
The sound off that club, folks. How about this for a nice little stretch early on this backside? Birdies at 11, 12, and now here at 13. Arriving now at the 535 yard par 4 14th. Like the first here at East Lake, this was shortened from par 5 to par 4. With a downslope on the fairway, though, it makes it play a little shorter than its yardage. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Well, had a good look at the green but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now gonna be a grind. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that, in for a par. We arrive now at one of the most intimidating holes at East Lake. 233 yard, par 315, water right of the green, and a treacherous bunker left of the green. Accuracy off the tee is critical here. Quality shot right there, just left of the hole, and a birdie opportunity coming up. Now this for another birdie. Very smooth there, in for a birdie. We begin the finishing stretch here at East Lake with a 444-yard par 416. Slight dog leg left. Players must avoid the fairway bunker on the right side to prevent a really challenging approach. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. This one has a chance to be close. Which is it? Eight or nine feet? <laughs> Not that bad, but it is a great approach. Here. Okay, just how you draw it up. That one in for a birdie. Up next, the 426 yard, par 417. Dog leg left with bunkers and trees on the left. Cutting the corner there is not an option. Well, this is tucked way left. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. Okay, not too bad there side of the hill now this for her birdie oh she's gonna like that thing. well done that's in for her birdie here it is the 18th at east lake scene of all that fedex cup drama through the years and that 15 million dollar payout you make birdie maybe even an eagle and you're walking away 
with a sizable check. This one up the right side, gonna try and draw it back in. And that's where you need to be, back into the fairway on this par five. Third shot, looking for a good one. Well, if that's the last iron shot of the day, it's absolutely gorgeous. Chance now for another birdie. Yes, what a finish to the round. Four consecutive birdies to wrap things up. And that will mean that this is a round of, get this, 56. Frank, always great to call the action here at East Lake with all the history with so many good holes, and we saw plenty of outstanding shots today. And I hope everybody got to enjoy the golf course that Bobby Jones certainly loved and really it got him into the game. So for all of us here, um, it's fun to take a little trip down memory lane and also play a great golf course. I'm Rich Lerner, along with Frank Novello for EA Sports, saying so long until next time.